his elbow. Hide me. You need to hide me. I'm sorry about this. Bathroom. Thank you. There's a bit of a thing happening. Don't worry. If you tell him I'm here. Good evening. I'm Dr. Grant. You're Brian. Might I come in? Brian? I, I, um, I, I prefer Brian. Well, yes, of course. You keep a very tidy home, Brian. What are you doing here? For now? Just looking. Now, what for? I'm here on behalf of Her Majesty's government. We We're canvassing the homes in the area. What are you talking about? Immigrant sunshine. We're looking for a woman. What, what's she done? Confidential information, I'm afraid, Brian. Uh, what, what makes her dangerous? Hey. Don't let her talk. Talk? Her words are like worms, worming their way into your brain. She's a very smart girl. I see. If she does try to gain entry, do let me know. Might I use your bathroom? My bathroom? Just for a moment. There, there's, uh, I really... Of course. Don't let yourself worry too much, Brian. She's not armed or anything. Stole a plastic gun from a toy shop. Ta-ta, Brian. You should have let him see the bathroom, Brian. He'll be suspicious now. Who is that man? He told you himself. He works for Her Majesty's government. There's no need to be afraid of me. That was... You really... Can go... You can leave now. He, he's gone. But you can go. Not yet, Bry. He's going to be patrolling around, you know. I need to hide out here until the coast is clear. Is that all right? Yes. Thank you. Did I have a choice? <laughs> well, it's not like I have a gun on you. Why is he after you? Not yet. We should get to know each other first. Look, I... I, I, I Do I make you feel uncomfortable? It, it's, it's just... Go on. I haven't spoken to a, a woman, or anyone, really, for a year. <laughs> oh, is that all? Please don't laugh at me. Bry? What do you do here? What do you mean? Something tells me you don't get out much. Not since I moved in. I'm, j I'm just not very good with people. We're getting along. You're not people. 
people. Aren't you lonely? What did you do? Why did you come here? If he's... If you're in trouble, I, I want to know. This will go a lot easier if we don't talk about that just yet. What is this? Try. I just don't like talking about myself. I already know all about myself. It's you I don't know about. How about this? Back and forth. Okay. You start. Um, school. Bloody awful. Same. Uni? Didn't go. Love? Single? Who was your first girlfriend? I was 15. 14, maybe. Do you want a cup of tea? I met my girlfriend at this youth group thing. Well, we were the only two there who drank coffee. We got on well and we went to the park a lot together. And One time there was this spider and it crawled up her arm and we thought it had bitten her. We, we, we thought she was going to die in under an hour. We, we cried and... What happened to her? She was fine. We split up eventually. Of course. How about you? Uh, first boyfriend or girlfriend? Boyfriend. My first was very boring, but my second's a good one. We were about 17. He was my friend's brother. He really liked me and it was obvious. So eventually, on New Year's Eve, I cornered him in his parents' kitchen and, well... You jumped him. It was the night he lost his virginity. He told you he loved you. You left. Out of awkwardness, I suppose. Ignored him after that. I need to tell you something. That's my story. You switched the perspectives, but that's me. You're not her. Right, please listen to me. You're, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Do you think this is a, is this a joke No, you? no, no. Right. Of course you don't actually find me interesting. You're just like them. How could I think that someone like you could possibly... Bri, you're not listening you're to me. You're fucking pretending. Bri. Just stop it. Stop pretending like you think I matter. Of course you matter. Bri, you're the most important person in the world. What does that even mean? Bri, I said I need to tell you something. How did you know all that? Look, you know there's a big old world out there waiting for you. But you find it so hard to take that step. You want to talk to your old friends, girlfriends. You can't make that connection. So what? That's not how you're supposed to be. How does that just happen? Do you remember? There was no one thing. It just makes sense. No, it doesn't. You were switched on. Bri, I know your memories because I wrote them. Science has made so many huge advances that we just forgot about. Small things that we all know in isolation that come together to make one big truth. What truth? You know. You've known it your entire life. Bri, you're a robot. You're insane. No, Bri, that's not him. That's him telling you. Him? Dr. Grant, what do you think he's a doctor in? All these terrible thoughts, the way you think now, they've programmed you to think that way. You don't leave this flat because you can't. 
What do you want with me? You weren't always like this! Then they've added it in with a chip. Buried a millimetre underneath the skin on the back of your neck. I can take it out for you. Your neck will never itch again. You want to kill me. You won't even feel it. What are you doing? In less than 30 seconds, your life will make more sense than it ever did before. Thank you, Brian. That'll do. What's wrong, Brian? What was it this time? The robots or the killer bees? You're lying. Sedative. Don't touch me. What did she tell you? All about you. Your experiments. My programming. I told you not to let her talk. You work for the government. I told you that much, didn't I, Brian? I'm a doctor at a psychiatric hospital. Jennifer is not well. Are you well, Brian? She told me... She knew how I felt. Felt about what? Why I can't leave. Why I want to be out there with everybody, but I can't, and that I have a purpose, that I... that I matter. Everyone feels like that, Brian. It's the human condition. She knew all about me, my memories. She said you and her implanted them. Do you have a social media account, Brian? They don't just disappear. Anyone can find out anything they want to about you. I told you she'd do this. Worm her way in. She always does. The back of my neck. It's where the computer chip is. It's why it always itches. You have a bite. If you would. She told me I was... Made me feel special. Yes, she does that. Do give me a call, Brian. <laughs>